Hello guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. Please, if you are just joining us, kindly subscribe and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Maki Day and Wike disagree over PDP National Secretary position. Guys, <laughs> Well, I do. As if he said the PDP, they don't defy themselves. You can see, say, 2027 election where they come, so they go come, come up for this party now. Go join another party. My people, our politicians, they need to learn to work together so that they go fair get peace for their party before they go do it. Come out to say they won't rule us peacefully. So we'll go quickly hear the details of the news. The relationship between Oyo State Governor will be the person of Engineer Sai Makide and the former River State Governor, Yinsun Wike, you don't get as a bill as they can clash over the converted position of National Secretary within the People's Democratic Party, PDP. What you can cause the clash now because of the position of the national secretary. As if say Maki they can they push for Aroti Ude Okoye. Why the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Wike, can they adamantly support the incumbent Sam Daddy? Sources within the PDP can tell the news, say Nigeria. He said the dispute has strained the once close relationship between the two political heavyweights. Insiders can suggest say Makideki interest now in securing control of the party stance from its aspiration for the 2027 presidential election. A source consistent and say Sai Makide. And Minister Wike, they don't fall apart to as if he say Maki they call opposes Sam Daddy as the national secretary. He can champion Aruti Ude Okoye for the position, whereas Wike can advocate for Sam Daddy to retain the role. Maki they he can they adamant about having Aruti Ude. Okoye as the national secretary. Why we can constant to support Sam Daddy to make him retain the role. May why Maki Day in a letter call address to the acting national chairman of the party, Uma Damagon, obtained by News Week Nigeria urge him to swear in the nominee of South East, Honorable S.K.E. Ude Okoye, as National Secretary of PDP, who is affirmed by the Enugu State High Court and backed by the PDP Board of Trustees. Sai Makide later con address to the Acting National Chairman of PDP it's worth noting that Sai Makide will be the member of the G5 governors, connectably work against the PDP's 2023 presidential candidate and former vice president, Atiku Abubakar, G5 Portacourt declaration. The governor of Oyo State, Engineer Sai Makide, he can't distance himself from the purported declaration by the former governor of Benue State, Dr. Samuel Otom, that the G5 governors have thrown their weights behind the 2027 presidential aspiration of President Buhari Ahmed Bola Tinibu. Engineer Makide can also make a clear say. Discussion about the 2027 presidential election when the president is less than seven months 
in office. He said they're premature and inappropriate. He can't say that instead of the, the things say make the rude people were, he said now about 2027 presidency, they can't they discuss. He said a major priority now to provide good and quality governance for the citizens and residents of the state and not the 2027 presidency. According to a source, at the government as in Ogodi, Ibadan or your state, it was reported that the governor, Ide shock, were well, well, and embarrassed to learn say of the purported declaration in the media without any formal consultation or discussion. The source who can speak on condition of anonymity can state as say one of the members of the G5 governors who was conspicuously missing in the said Port Accord meeting, according to the tribal report, was Governor Sai Makide of Oyo State. She can further explain, say the former Bonu Benue governor was not speaking the minds of the G5 members, but rather he could make her own, her own personal remarks and not on behalf of the G5. From the source, court concluded that same members of the public made a disregard the declaration, saying that such an action would have been appropriate if it was a collective decision of the entire members consigned and could not possibly be taken by an individual. Guys, See how this G5 governor matter don't they go now. You can see say even among them now, kata kata don't they do. So how they go fit they stand, they defeat APC. If they not fit get one mind now. So my people, now God will they look on to for a better Nigeria. May God give us good leaders where go lead the people are right. Not people will be said that only they think about themselves. They not, they not get concerned for the masses. So, my people, I go end the matter for a year. Make on not forget to like and to share. In all, not forget to subscribe to Bliss channel. Thank you.